Hi Pisces, this is Sha from Charlie's Angel Tarot and I will do the introduction at the all the information at the end of the video so we can get right into the reading um, because the introductions are sometimes so long but if you would like to know the updates and the news then wait until I have read your reading I'm going to do my nine card spread again Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday and the Querent card or the overall energy and I will be uh, doing the corner cards clarifying the three cards or the three cards will be clarifying the co uh, the corner cards okay let's get started this is your reading for the 22nd to the 28th of um, June and we are going into or we are in Cancer new energy well this uh, um, might be a difficult time for you you might have sleepless nights you might be worried with something then when that happens then give your stress and worries to the divine and the angels and that will bring an end to that and they will take care of it so you can have a good night's sleep and rejuvenate and for the next day there is an ending in sight okay where there is an ending there is also a new beginning so don't worry so much you are not alone on Monday you have the world and that is 21 1 and 2 is 3 so you are creative enough um, to start sleeping properly again like I said it's an ending again the world is also completion something has been completed so you have been worrying for nothing what goes up must come down what goes round comes round that's why the world is also my karma card if you've done good or bad you will get it back threefold and that is a promise <laughs> and if somebody's done you good or bad they'll get their karma too and they will get it back even worse than what they even thought it would be you might be going up uh, in the world or rather in your relationship or in work you might get a promotion you might go up a next level you might move you might go on holiday at long last because the lockdown is easing up and you have all the energies um, within you to make this thing or whatever you're busy with complete so that you can go into a new phase you're leaving old things behind and in this card it is represented by the fish okay this is the fish so that is cups then we have worms <laughs> that is earth then we have the crow that is air and then we have a funny monster and he looks like fire so that is the ones so you've got all the gifts the talents the wisdom the know-how to get up and choose because the world is your oyster you are in balance right now and you are creative enough to start something new this could be a relationship this could be a job this could be also like starting a new home having a home of your own and that is what the week is opening up with on Monday you might even have the money now because you might have had a raise you might have had a gift you might have won a scratch card but you are no longer tied up like this bird in the cage you might have felt locked up you can spread your wings now because you've got such beautiful cards you've got the money you've got the means okay so again you are going leaving um, a difficult period behind and worries and you're going into a beautiful period and it's lying next to the nine of swords so you've got a double number the angels are trying to tell you something and the angels are here because on Friday we have justice so you have 11 
and that is a doorway also a new beginning the angels are giving you a new beginning okay um, justice is also represents Libra so there might be a, a librarian around you a Libra person okay you might feel out of balance and that has been worrying you and that's why you might have had sleepless nights you have used your wisdom and you've thought things through and you've asked help from perhaps um, um, a notary public or a lawyer and uh, it's going to be fine you're going to go back into balance because you've got nine nine you will be getting that money Ooh, right on justice will be done you will get what you deserve and so will they they will know the karma they will receive the karma okay now we've got another nine the nine of cups your wish or dreams or goals are coming true again a nine this is crazy I've never ever had this before nine 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 and in the same row this is significant go to the computer and have a look what nine 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 means okay that's an angel number you can have look for repetitive nines or you can look at 99 or 999 it might be money that you're winning on the number 999 perhaps you've be done that okay this is amazing this is I like it so your wish is coming true you're going to get that money and a better beginning you don't have to worry about money anymore or have sleepless nights okay Pisces I don't know whether I said that this reading is for the 22nd to the 28th I think I do look at this the clover luck is on your side balance will be brought back and this looks like a dollar sign just there so you are hold you don't need to hold on to money so tight anymore because you've got luck with your money you're getting a bag full of money that is what has been worrying you your wish is coming true something is coming full circle the end of difficulties okay yahoo <laughs> and again this card is the ghost and the ghost means somebody from the past or somebody might have even left this realm and is with you perhaps they are sending you 999 now I could be the 9th of September um, the ninth month that it will be all round and done with if you are in a judicial situation or it could happen that you are signing at 9 o'clock on the 9th of September so that is just come in like that nine o'clock in the morning on the ninth month um, the nine the ninth month and the ninth day right so nine o'clock in the morning on the ninth of September um, because of the, that's the, the nine month the ninth day and the ninth month because pe things might be delayed at the moment so that is what is worrying you um, because the summer holidays are here again again a second lockdown so everybody is going off on holiday or doing or doing something there will be delays so that's why it might take until September it could be money from somebody that's passed away and that could be their estate could be handled okay and you have to go to the um, the municipalities or the uh, court or uh, judicial people to sign contracts okay that could be it somebody from the other side is connecting with you and telling you not to worry okay luck is on your side you've got two twos here and that's an angel number if I ever saw one 20 becomes two there could be uh, meetings gatherings um, birthdays 
picnics, barbecues, like I said, people going on holiday. But there could be a reunion as well. Not with somebody that has passed away, of course, but there could be a reunion um, with family and friends. Wow, something has come full circle. You might be celebrating because now you've got the money you might be celebrating and bringing the family back together and perhaps discussing um, perhaps it is a, um, an anniversary of somebody that's passed okay so um, perhaps you might celebrate the anniversary in remembering them I know it's painful but it's also joyous to know that they do not have any pain anymore. Okay. And that is might be worrying you and giving you sleepless nights. Missing them. Okay. But yes, if you can sleep, then you might be meeting them in your dream. On the 9th of September at 9 o'clock at night, if you are going early to bed, or if you have, well, uh, I can go on and on with this. I'm so, yeah, you know, I'm getting so many messages in. But if it is somebody that's diseased, they love you, know that, and they miss you as well. But they are happy that you are bringing an end to an issue. And you're going into a better period. The angels are with you. They are also saying, I'm okay, don't worry. Your wish has come true that I should be in no pain. And you want to find out whether I'm okay? Yes, I am fine. I'm in balance. They have such a gentle, soft voice. Okay. This could be a message just for one person, but it could be for more, because remember, this is a general reading. And my voice has changed as well, and it's as if they are talking. They've got a very gentle way of speaking. Now, the last card in the spread is the five, the five, the tree. You might have been worried about their health and about your health. Somebody might have passed away from COVID or and you might have had to take care of them and you were worried about your health. Your health is fine. It could be somebody in the family, I feel, because the family tree, the tree says family tree. Now they have come in and they are the one that's ruling the cards. They've given you two trees. Crazy. <laughs> so justice will be done. And consider your health. Give your stress to the angels, they're saying. Because it's just lying above the angel number. They will make sure that you stay in health and w wealth and balance. I don't know why they said health, wealth, but health because of the tree and wealth most probably because of the nine of pentacles. They are having a whole conversation. You don't have to be on the swing anymore going like this backwards and forwards. This is what I see them doing. Um, not because of the swing in the in the picture, but they said you don't have to go backwards and forwards anymore because things are coming to a full circle. Wow, that is beautiful. You, you've put down roots and you can rest now. That's also what they're saying. Go outside and enjoy the smell, okay? And the quietness and the birds. Know that I'm there at the tree. She's going, at the tree so there might be two places now the first card that you have is the upper world what comes into mind with upper world I'm getting goosebumps here amazing heaven 
I'm going to begin to cry. Heaven, upper world. This is an emotional reading. The This is the card of the mystical shaman. And I said, spread your wings. And this is what's re representing. And you've got, um, it looks like a shadow, two wings, if you look carefully. These wings and these wings. And she's, they said, um, I'm not alone. She is with the angels. Angels, divine helpers, the ancient ones, and all varieties of luminous beings populated the upper world. It is the place where you go to retrieve your de destiny and find out who you will become. Discover your great potential and undreamt of possibilities. So go and sleep and dream. You haven't dreamt them yet. It is also the place where the spirit, spirits of the dead arrive when they complete their journey to the light. Sorry if I sound too emotional. The upper world is calling you to step into your fully realized self. Clear distractions. So that you can move into a higher destiny. Do not fall to the temptation to craft a slightly more improved version of yourself. In other words, don't pretend. Take care of your health. Stay in balance. If you're sad, you're sad. It's always sad when somebody passes away. And go to a special place outside. What you perceive as a problem or an obstacle is in fact the irritation you need to take. A in fact, is in fact the irritation you need to take the great leap remember you cannot cross the Grand Canyon in two small jumps so you have to take a leap of faith let go of your sadness let go of your difficulties give it to the divine this is such a beautiful reading 999 the angels are telling you and so are they that they're fine they're with the angels I'm going to go a little bit longer into this this is the medicine okay that was the invitation now I'm going into the medicine ask your divine helpers for guidance if the oracle has already spoken to you do not ask for more guidance take what has been offered now you must deal with the legendary and the idleness while you support for a new destiny is not yet in place a new destination is available to you if you act now so you have to believe that this message has been sent from somebody that loves you and misses you but is with you and can hear you free yourself from the sadness free yourself from feeling imprisoned G go back and organize a party in their honor perhaps or in your honor that justice has been done and that you're free Reuni reunite with family and friends beautiful then we've got a postcard from spirit Dear you, in other words, dear Pisces, there is only one you and you have a unique place in the universe. Sometimes situations come up that challenge you to be authentic and that means you have to be fully yourself and let go of being what you think others may want you to be. Now is not the time to confirm to other people's standards 
or expectations, be proud of who you are and be courageous. Stand tall in your convictions. Being yourself is a powerful statement and will only lead you to success and ultimately happiness. Don't compare yourself to other people. Want what you have. Choose what your heart wants and know that your purpose is yours alone. No one else can claim your magic nor take it away when you place authenticity and originality high on your list of priorities and give them a prominent place in your awareness. Extraordinary things happen. Your life is a beautiful one. Love you always and forever. Then we have the path. From the Queen Moon Oracle. You have the path. And the path is a waxing crescent. So it's a waxing moon. The way is open for you. And that is given by the angels. And by that person. The path is illuminated by the moon. Go up the ladder. So go through that new porthole, the angel's porthole. Begin the journey now. Respond and take action. We must be courageous and move forward. In other words, they want you to carry on with life. Enjoy life to the full so that your wish can come true or wishes and you feel free. So spread your wings. Go on holiday. Whoa, nice one. I love this reading. It's brought me to tears. So, sorry if I sound a bit upset. But it's tears of happiness. Freedom. That is what I'm hearing. Freedom. Okay, my darlings. Okay, my darlings. I hope I did help somebody. Um if not a lot of people let go of stress let go of worries your dreams are going to come true stay in your balance know you're not alone that the angels are with you the way forward is beautiful you are going to go up and away I love it I love this picture as well and it looks like grass or it looks like a lake so it could be a tree in a park or a specific tree that they loved or it could be um, a, a specific place that you love go there that is your sacred little space I hope you will enjoy this I really do I think I know somebody that will and you've got number 59 so that becomes um, 59 that becomes 14 okay 14 is 5 so don't be in out of balance okay and you've got number 8 here so that is your money house and your power house so stand in your strength you have the power okay now, I hope you've enjoyed this reading. If you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one reading, then please look at the information in the description box or click on the white circle with the eye in the top right-hand corner. There you will also find the video on the competition that's going. You can win the Shadowlands and you can, and that's the first place, the first person, the winner will have a choice between vice versa one of my decks or the Shadowlands and if they don't choose the Shadowlands then the second person will get uh, what 
uh, has been left and the third person the third winner will get 20 minutes free reading okay and also what I'm going to do is which I usually do is notified on Facebook but also on Instagram and in under the community tab on YouTube as a lot of viewers are not getting notified so if you want to join me in the other cyber angels in the um, live sessions Monday Wednesday and Friday then watch out on the community tab or become a member of Facebook or Instagram the links are on the main page in the right hand corner of my profile photo so take care be blessed and have a beautiful week love you Pisces ciao ciao